Hello, it's Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham. Thank you very much for the opportunity to address this meeting and speak about the late Commissioner Souls. I know the pain of a sudden loss. I know that the grief that comes from losing a loved one or a close colleague never really goes away. It changes you, and it changes how you look at things. Even six months after his loss, it's important to reflect on who he was and how he went about his advocacy for New Mexico's great outdoors, particularly here in his hometown of Las Cruces and beautiful southern New Mexico. David Souls was a devout conservationist, an engaging storyteller, a beloved husband, father, and grandfather. His great service to this commission and to our state was only part of the legacy he leaves behind. He loved the outdoors. He loved New Mexico. I know his loss is still felt deeply by those who knew him and worked with him and loved him. And I know his fellow commissioners and those who care deeply about the work of this commission will continue to carry out this important work in his memory. And, um, I'm sure none of us really thought we'd ever be in this position uh, of doing a tribute video for David. From the first time I met Commissioner David Souls, his passion for wildlife and wild spaces was clear. What was also clear was his advocacy for getting others outdoors to share the experiences that he had had. He was at once playful and inquisitive, always setting you at ease but asking important questions and always willing to share. David was one of the most intelligent, compassionate, and caring gentlemen one could ever have the honor to call a dear friend. Days with David meant long walks, wonderful places, and the very best days. On those long days is when David showed us the joy of a perfect orange, uh, usually after a hot, sunny day. David Souls was a dear friend of mine. David was a blast to be with. He was a fantastic hunter, great stalker, made a plan before we ever left the perch where we were looking at whatever animal we were looking at. David was the kind of guy you wanted in the field with you. We knew every square foot of southwest New Mexico, and he was the best damn spotter I ever hunted. I learned quickly by observing David that he was a quiet listener, a person who reflected deeply on what he was hearing in the opinions, ideas, and comments that people made at our meetings, whether they were staff or public members or fellow commissioners. Uh, David was on our board of directors for the last 11 years. Um, we relied on him more often than I really realized um, I do now. He was really a mentor, he was a guide, an interpreter, an evangelist for the land. Um, he was a friend of mine, he was a friend of all of us at New Mexico Wild. Um, David was, in many ways, one of the primary spark plugs behind the successful Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monument and all that it protected, especially the cultural areas that he mapped over years and years. Uh, he gave so much back uh, to me and my family and he brought that same ethic to everyone he knew in, in southern New Mexico. David taught me the joy of discovery, knowing that it was so much more often a process than a destination. David was all about discovery, all about looking at a new place on a map 
talking with people about places uh, and then getting out there and trying to find uh, that uh, one place to retrace that route or to find that place in history. You've heard the old saying, well, it ain't rocket science. Well, with David, it was all about rocket science. And David's family was his number one priority, and his close friends weren't too far behind. But I don't think David ever met anyone that if he wasn't occupied with priorities number one and two, that he wasn't willing to lend a helping hand to. David was man enough to admit that Nancy was the better driver. Uh, and I will always be grateful for his thoughtful leadership and communication and advocacy around the very concepts of public land and of public wildlife, wildlife held in trust by the state of New Mexico. He was one of the kindest, most generous, gentle man um, I've ever known. He had this uh, seriousness, uh, he was very passionate, but what I remember a lot of uh, is him laughing. He would find ways to, uh, to laugh and I appreciated that. So. He had the strongest sense of pers personal ethics and a sense of perspective. And that meant that David welcomed new viewpoints, different viewpoints, and he seemed to love different perspectives. What I miss most about Commissioner David Souls is that passion for the outdoors and everything in it. If I have one wish for his family and all those who loved and cared for David today, it is that they take that wonderful spirit and that gracious man's image into their heart today and hold it there forever. David will live on every single day in the places we go, the people we say yes to going out with, and the way in which we show our love for uh, the outdoors, their special places, and people uh, all across. And we will miss him every single day. Love you, David. Love you, David. Always be an empty chair for David and Arthur. We miss you, David. Thanks for everything. I love you, David. Always will. And I know you love me. I miss you, David. We all do, and uh, here's to a life well lived.